They're coming for you! Good morning, modern steaders. I don't know if you can hear the excavator or not, but he's down there working. It's supposed to rain today. Hopefully it'll hold off and he can get the whole field cleaned up and finished. Good morning. I'm hoping we're lucky enough that he can finish up clearing the pasture today. Luna, where'd you go? <laughs> Our future egg layer pullets are doing an awesome job at eating that grass for us. Pluto, you scaring them? I love these little chicken tractors. They maneuver so easy and you can move them just so close to everything. Almost you don't have to do any weed whacking. Spawn and Rufus. This morning I want to get a petition wall built right here with a doorway here or a gate and a wall here. So we can keep the milk and stanchion, the goat's hay, and their feed out here. So far I made some shelf brackets and a shelf to store my hay on. This area back here I want to keep really organized so we can keep the feed, the hay, the milk and stanchion, everything else we need for the goats in this little area. So if you have any good ideas, leave it in the comments down below. We want to be as organized as we can. Time for a snack. I tell you what, I don't know how you guys do it in a warm weather climate. We're probably in the 80s right now. I bet you we're 70% humidity or more. It's sticky out this morning. Man, I'm glad we don't have this all the time. It's gonna look so nice once we have the goats here and the pastures all cleared. Grass is growing. I can't wait. I'd much rather have to deal with the cold and the snow than the heat and the humidity all the time. Whew.
once I found out the space and I like, I made a little spacer block just to keep the spaces even as I'm screwing the gate together. the mobile chicken coop New York City we call the pig pen area New Hampshire what are we gonna call the goat barn I gotta hear some great suggestions I know you all have them leave them in the comments down below I'm looking forward to reading them all I put the latch on the inside thinking that I know goats can be mysterious so I didn't want to put the latch out here where they could get at it so I did it on the inside it's kind of more of a pain but they won't be able to get it open and get in there I fingers crossed we bought a wind chime to keep the birds away from our outdoor kitchen but mom's not around, so you don't want to pop them. I will. Do you know what one me and mom got? Huh? Do you know which one me and mom no. got? No. I... There you go. Nice. What do you think of that? Oh. We got a truck. What is that for? Yep. Oh, we got a bent fork. We'll have look. to fix that. Look, look, this was fun. Yep. What was there? A pig? Yeah, where's the pig? Here's the pig. Here's the pig. Here's the chicken. A chicken. Oh, look, a and the truck has a chicken. And, and a dog. dog in it. Pretty cool. I think oh, that'll... And a cowbell. Ooh, you think that'll keep the birds away? Yeah, it should. Crazy dog. I got our electric bill in the mail today. It's $22 this month cheaper than it was last month with unplugging our second refrigerator that was only four or five years old and running our cool bot all the time, which is a walk-in refrigerator. It's cheaper to run that. That's crazy. You can't reach it? I should have put it lower? Yeah. You'll be locked out from seeing the goats. Maybe I'll leave it there. No! Are you gonna make a handle too? I gotta figure out what we wanna do for a handle. What do you think? I like it. Wait, so what is this place gonna be? Do you like it? What is it gonna be? You're not gonna get out the gate. No, I don't think so. This is going to be where we have the milk and stanchion over here. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll have their hay and their feed over here and some other stuff. We gotta organize it. So will the gate be open for them to walk into? We'll open it when we want them to milk them. But other than what that, about, like, the feed? no, we'll feed them out there. We'll store the feed that oh, we okay. don't want them to eat in here. And then the bunk bed sort of thing will be like over here. The goat bunk beds we're gonna yeah. put out here, yep. I did the slatted walls so that way it would still let light into this part of the barn. Huh? Like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. New bedroom? That's it, you're locked in. Your new bedroom, Mom said. Oh man, you can get out? Yeah, because the wall's on my side. So the door's shut, but the skylights, Gina's idea, still light it up nice and bright in here. Good nice thinking. Well, they're not going to be in the dark. That neat. Yeah. What? Said, Whoa. Whoa, what? The open land? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, looks like we got about two thirds of it picked up and rough, roughly smoothed. This is going to be a big field when they're all done. Oh my goodness. The house looks so far away. Pluto, think of all the room you're going to have to run. You're not going to know what to do. Huh. Pluto, come on. Let's go. <gasps> you got me. Yeah, you can cover that. Thanks for coming on our journey with us today, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at from the acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.